This morning I will bring forward legislation. Uh, what this will do will enable us to redesignate the UK as a safe country for the purpose of returns. Uh, we have an arrangement in place with the UK. It's been in place post-Brexit and since Covid, but it hasn't been in effect because of the High Court ruling. What I'm doing with this legislation is addressing the High Court ruling and making sure that we close any loopholes that currently exist. We have to be able to return people to the UK, but there is an arrangement in place. We've been working with the UK and I don't expect that that will change. Uh, this is one of a number of measures that I'm bringing forward and that I have been doing to make sure that we have an immigration system that's firm but fair. Most importantly, fast processing has already seen any country designated under this the numbers drop significantly. We have had returns in the past, but this is a separate arrangement that was put in place since Brexit. So we have had to engage with the UK, uh, and it's uh, really important that we engage with the UK post-Brexit to make sure that we have arrangements in place. It has not been effective because of COVID and because of this High Court ruling, but we cannot have a loophole or a system where we cannot effectively return people. Despite comments that have been made, this arrangement is already in place. Uh, we have been working with the UK and I look forward to continuing working with the UK to making sure that we prevent any type of abuses of the common travel area and that we work together in that effect. And irrespective of comments that have been made, it has not been made clear to me that we won't continue to work with each other. Uh, and that's the way that I'm operating.